Hello everyone, I'm Denise Haynes from R&R Property and this is podcast number 13. Today I wanted to have a quick chat to you about being a great tenant and getting that rental property that you wish. So firstly, inspecting the property. Turn up on time for the inspection. Show that you're reliable. Dress as neatly as you can, neat, tidy and clean. Whilst you're there, Note any issues you may have or matters you would like addressed if your tenancy is accepted on the application form. Application, complete your application in full and honestly. Give as much detail as possible and ensure you have all your supporting documents with you and ready to go. Be prepared. You will be required to pay a bond equivalent to four weeks rent plus two weeks rent when signing the lease if approved. With your rent, pay your rent in advance as agreed when you sign the lease. Late payments remain on your rent history and can affect your chances of securing a rental in the future. Look, we all at times have unexpected costs and should you experience difficulty with your rent, talk to your property manager. They understand and will work with you in difficult times. Presentation of the property is really important. Maintain the lawns and gardens regularly and keep the property clean. Routine inspections will be carried out and reports provided to the landlord on the condition of the property. Smoke alarms. This one's a no-brainer. Look, it's your responsibility to replace the batteries in the smoke alarms, but smoke alarms are installed for your safety. So if you suspect they are faulty, report it to your agent immediately. And please, please, please don't take the batteries out because they go off when you burn the toast. As I said, if it is going off regularly, you think it's faulty, please report it immediately because they're so important. Light globes. People get confused about this one. Yes, these are the tenant's responsibility to replace. On commencement of the tenancy, all light globes should be working and it is your responsibility to ensure they are all working at the completion of your tenancy. If they're not working at commencement, please let your landlord or agent know. Pets. If you have been approved for pets, you will be required to have the carpets professionally cleaned and the property fumigated for fleas. Receipts will be required at the completion of your tenancy. Now there seems to be a bit of a debate raging at present over pets and whether it should be compulsory for landlords to accept pets. I can only speak from personal experience. I have experienced on many occasions, not just once, many occasions where I've been taken advantage of as far as pets are concerned. I'm a true believer that every small child or adult for that matter should have a companion in a pet because they are lovely. But sometimes this gets out of hand. For example, I've turned up to one of my rental properties and the one little dog that I approved has turned into five dogs, for example, and I know nothing about this until I've turned up. Or the neighbours are complaining because the dogs bark constantly or there's damage to the property because they've chewed up the wall, for example. I've seen that as well. Or they're running around town causing havoc um, you know, I've turned up to my own rental property, which I had for sale, and there's this kitten running around inside the house. I've not approved the kitten, but here it is in plain sight, running around, peeing on the carpet. And once that is in carpet, both dog and cat, you can never, ever get it out, and it stinks. So, look... You know, try and walk in your landlord's shoes when you're saying that it should be compulsory. I would just about bet that, you know, they have had a bad experience in the past and that's why they're saying no, not having any pets whatsoever. Sorry. Okay. Um, now, maintenance and repairs. Please let us know about maintenance issues or repairs required at the property. There is no need to wait to raise these during the routine inspections as it's best to have these matters attended to as they arise. 
And of course, respect your neighbours. Complaints from neighbours are recorded on your tenant history and the most common complaints are noise and animals. Ending the tenancy. When vacating, ensure the property is in the same condition as it was as at the commencement of the tenancy to ensure your bond is refunded in full. Thank you everyone. I hope that's helped. If you would like more tips, please just give us a call on 4994 five seven double six or four double nine seven four three two five or hey jump on the Facebook page or our website www.r and dot com dot au. Thank you.